So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to Mango HUD. And uh, since I'm using Arch Linux, I don't really need to do some of the things that other distros probably, if you're using Debian or Linux Mint or any other distro, you probably will have to build this yourself. But once you've installed Mango HUD, which is over here, and uh, you can see that these are the build instructions right here. But I don't need to do this since I can use the AUR to do this since I'm on Arch. So this is the instruction for me. And I accidentally clicked something, I believe. I, I don't know. So for me, it's very easy. I just uh, do this. And you can see that I can install Mango HUD, which I already have installed. So once you have that, so once you have Mango HUD installed, or once you have it built using these instructions that you see over here, now I'm on art, so I can't really help you with the build. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here, the HUD configuration. So these are the instructions for that, but well, this is what I'm going to do, which they have not really told properly. And I'm going to help you over here. And this is to limit the FPS. So you're going to go over here, over here, you're going to copy this, this area, okay? And you're going to open up your file browser or wherever you, whichever, I mean, if you're using a terminal-based uh, file manager or whatever it is, this is the example, okay? This is the thing that you need to copy. So once you have this copied, you're going to go to your home and you're going to enable hidden files. So you can see the, see the hidden files. And if you go over here, you will not have a Mango HUD folder. Now I created this. What they didn't tell you over here is that the, this, this, this folder is not created. Mango HUD does not create this folder. So you're going to create this folder and you're going to name it exactly like they have stated over here, which is, which is this. This is what you need to copy. So this is the home folder. So you'll go to your home folder. And you're going to go to dot config and you're going to you're going to place a folder create a folder which will be called mango hut and it is case sensitive so make sure that you actually at, at least I, I i think it is case sensitive but whatever just make sure that you spell it exactly like i have and uh the m and h should be capital over here you're going to paste that example config file that we that we just take took a look at now in case you didn't really see it it's actually over here let me just show it to you again so that you don't really have a problem so this is the example file you're going to copy this over here and you're going to remove the dot example which is which is which is uh, at the end and so it's going to read mangohut.config you're going to double click this and over here you're going to uncomment that this is going to be commented It's going to actually have a hashtag oh yeah it's going to have a hashtag so i uncommented this and you're going to leave the space just uncomment this and in front of this you're going to write 144 or whichever fps limit you want to keep whether 60 or whatever it is so for me this i think there was nothing there it was just an equal to and nothing there you can also really uh go ahead and uncomment some of the other things that you need to basically uh display but for me it's uh i didn't really have that like i, I didn't really need to do many things over here and yeah so that's basically it your uh, all of your games will now which will run under mango hut will be will be uh limited uh, the limit will be whatever you place here so if you don't really know i mean i was testing this on doom so what i did is i went to doom and where is doom hang on a second let me just check there it is properties and this is the launch option that i use for mango hud so this is going to enable mango hud and doom hopefully this video is going to help you if you have any questions do let me know